Hello, this is Inez from Tolerated Cinematics and today we'll be showing you how to create your own snow um, but unfortunately uh, it's not going to be for in real life only in this editing program called Adobe After Effects so uh, the only thing you'll need for this tutorial is a third uh, party plugin from uh, redgine.com called Trap Code Particular a link will be in the description if you want a, a trail download or if you want to buy the product so um, yeah, link will be in the description so let's jump into After Effects and right over here I already have my footage uh, ready to go uh, it's footage from something else so I'm just going to define this footage um, to use it as uh, for in this tutorial so drag your footage create a new comp and then we're going to um, yeah change the colors a little bit because yeah it's not never going to snow when it's like sun and I don't know so I'm gonna create a realistic scene first and then we're going to try to create some realistic snow in this tutorial so um, yeah first of all I'm going to add a border so you don't see this um, sun right over here so I'm going to new salt and I'm going to name it border uh, and the color black okay then I'm going to take my mask tool and just create a simple border right over here so it's just so you don't see the sun in this tutorial and I'm also going to freeze this frame because we don't want this to move um, but we still want it to, to be like um, a little bit of realistic so I'm going to uh, hit P on the keyboard and hold alt click on stopwatch and here I'm going to enter a simple expression wiggle one time um, like 20 so what's that, uh, what that's gonna do is um, one time a second it's going to wiggle 20 um, pixels so randomly it's going to move 20 uh, 20 pixels uh, one time a second so yeah that's what we got over here so uh, as you can see we have some black over here so I'm going to change that by um, typing in my effects and presets if you don't see this uh, right over here go to window effects and presets I'm going to search for motion tile and I'm going to drag this onto the footage and then I'm going to check on the mirror edges and the output width and height. So we're going to change this to 120 because it's only 20 pixels and that it can uh, change. Uh, you can change it like 25 if you want. Um, if you want to be sure, um, yeah. And if we want, uh, well, it's a snow tutorial, but um, I'm just going to explain one more thing. Uh, if you want uh, this tutorial and you want to send your project to your friend that doesn't know anything about expressions or whatever and you want him to control this over here the, sp um, the speed and of everything so I'm going to show you how to do this uh, it's not that tutorial but um, well it's not too hard so we're going to do that create a new adjustment layer and rename it to control um, so wiggle control okay and then in the effects and preset we're going to s uh, search for slider control and drop it into here rename it to uh, speed and then just duplicate it and rename that one to um, amount so once we've done that we're gonna delete this one over here so just delete the one and then click on the parent tool and just parent speed and then we're going to do the same thing for the 20 you're gonna delete the 20 and parent this to the amount so oh, it didn't work amount slider okay there we go and now we are going to change this to 20 and this to 1 and oh well, yeah that's it and if we gonna check this we have a little movement over here not too realistic but um, if you want it really realistic um, just go and grab a camera and film a little bit with your hands and then just take these um, movement points and just track them and just input them on this uh, scene okay so it's not a tutorial uh, it has nothing to do with tracking so I'm go not going further into that and we're going to jump and edit this so we can start on our snow particles so right click new and solid I'm gonna change this and snow particle and hit ok so for now we are going to uncheck this because first we want this to be a little bit darker because yeah it's realistic uh, if it's a little bit dark and snowing so we're going to create a new adjustment layer again and 
rename it. Um, by the way, if you don't know how to rename something, just hit the return key on the keyboard and you will be able to rename it. So click, click on the layer and hit return. Um, okay, so right over here we're going to rename it to color correction. Okay, and click on the color correction, go in effects and presets, curves. I'm going to drag these curves right in here. And I'm gonna change this to like right over here, and then take a blue one, and just do it like this, it's just slightly like that. Then duplicate this, and just reset it. And we're going to create some contrast right in here. There we go. And we're going to. Um, the green channel get less green less green in the highlights but um, in the shadows it might be green okay and like a blue just the highlights make it a little bit blue or maybe even blue in the shadows and not in the highlights so you just have to play around right here until you get the right settings uh, there we go I kind of like this, so we're going to f um, use this for our footage. So now check back the snow particle and just search for particular if you have it. And particular right over here, and drop this onto your uh, snow particles um, solid. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, we have now so simple particles right over here, so we're going to get this above the color correction because we don't need, need this color correction to affect this um, particle. Um, so as you can see in the beginning we don't have our particles. Uh, if you want to change that, go to emitter and emission extras, and change the pre-run to like 100. And there we go, it should be there immediately. Now the emit uh, emitter type we're going to change this to box and the particles per second let's change that to 1500 okay we'll have enough right here emit a size 2000 and um, emit a size y 2000 and emit our size z 2000 there we go and get the border on top so right over there okay there we go um maybe even larger than that so 4000 4000 so the Z is going to be the depth, um, so um, yeah, we can add some um, depth to feel to that to create a realistic look. Um, so, but for that we all go, um, we are going to need a camera. So right click right over here, new camera. Change it to a preset from 35 millimeters and a rename it to camera. Hit OK. Now if we open this up, I'm going to camera options. We have depth to field, it's on. And as you can see, if we change the aperture to something like 120, um, everything that's close to the camera will uh, be blurry. So, if you change it way up, as you can see, it affects a lot. So, we're going to change it to 250, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. Okay, there we go. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to move our particles out of this window. So, they are going to fall and not be on one specific um, point as they are right now because they are just not moving. Well, they are moving but they are not falling on the ground. So uh, we want to move this up and get it right over here. Okay, maybe even higher. Okay, there we go. Okay, this looks pretty good, I guess. And now what we're going to do, maybe we can change it from an angle. So if you move it right over here, it's going to... We're going to make it like it's snowing this way, like the wind is coming from somewhere. And to create it a little bit realisticer. Okay, excuse me. Um, so let's get into that. The particles, everything is good over here. Three seconds, okay. Life random, okay, okay. That's good for now. You don't need to change these particles. 
uh, maybe the physics we're going to change the gravity of course to um, let's say 150 let's try it out and just let's see what we have so I'm pre-rendering now let's see it's a little bit too fast so let's change it to 100 okay let's check back okay I kinda like this um, speed so if you wanna change it go ahead it's all up to you um, so it's just explaining how to get started and yeah that's it so under the physics you still have the air so now we need some air resistance uh, let's change this to one I guess um, or is this going to be too slow oh, let's change back to zero and we're not gonna use any resistance um, the snow doesn't really resist but um, I thought it was going to give a look a uh, great effect um, so the spin amplitude we want this to spin just a little bit um, yeah 16 will be good uh, okay the wind is coming from the um, from the X so let's change this to like um, 500 should be good I, uh, I don't know let's check it okay this looks pretty good we also want it to um, get a uh, another wind let's say it's coming from um, northeast or north no northwest I'm sorry and um, so we're also going to change the wind from the Z okay there we go minus 500 okay let's check that back Okay, I kind of like this effect. Um, maybe less um, gravity because snow isn't really going very fast. It's uh, really slow. Check back. Um, no, the life isn't long enough, so change this uh, gravity to 70 and change the life to 4 and there we go, or maybe even 5 or what am I doing, position Z, I'm not doing this right um, life particle I guess, yes, life, 5 or 4, let's change it to 4 and check that Okay, this is kind of good. Um, so it's all up to you, and just change and uh, tweak the settings um, just a bit. Um, so yeah, I made this tutorial because it was really requested um, a lot these days. Maybe because it's almost Christmas and they want to create something cool for their family. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how to do this. And you can also add some cool lens flares um, of your own. So let's change it to like white blue color. Um, to create a atmosphere and take our ellipse tool like this better this like 500 I guess should be good okay get it under the border and change it to add I don't know pretty cool effect I guess and then just um, opacity 50 and also add a wiggle alt click on the stopwatch wiggle wiggle it like um, two times a second um, 50% or 20% and always sells your product a little bit better um, I really like lens flares and some cool lens effects so like over here so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have other tutorials uh, that you want to suggest just send me a private message on YouTube um, I'm not always going to uh, react on the comments I don't know if I see them or not um, so just send me a private message on my YouTube I always check my messages um, so yeah um, also if you uh, send a suggestion for a tutorial make sure I'm making tutorials for those programs so I have my channel and just look in my playlist uh, for which kind of programs I am making um, tutorials so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye see you next time